Right guys, now let's work with more problems with quotient rule. Remember what we are doing here is just separating the functions and differentiating. And as the rule starts, from the, from the starting as we decided, we are only differentiating one function at a time. And the differentiation formula is this, nothing much. You don't have to do thousands of problems. You just need to know the technique, right? So let's know the technique here. Right, let's go with the first problem. So he says uh, sine of x divided by one plus cos x. Now what exactly do you have? We have a formula v by u, right? How do you differentiate this guy? We know this guy. y is equal to u by v, right? That goes like v into du by dx minus u into dv by dx by x squared. This is what the formula is, right? So who's v? It's the denominator. So let's take the whole thing as v and this whole thing as u. So what happens? v, one plus, let me do it here. That is one plus cos x into differentiation of sine x minus sine x into d by dx of 1 plus cos x. Very simple. And you have a denominator whole squared according to the formula. So v squared is who? It is 1 plus cos x the whole squared. See, this is the way we actually separate these two functions which come as division. All right. Now, I can see I, there is nothing here to differentiate because there is no sign of differentiation. Just write like that. And differentiation of sine x, the basic thing, there is cos x. That's it. Minus sine x. I don't have to do anything with this guy. How do you differentiate 1 plus cos x? 1 is 0, cos x is minus sin x, and that's all about it. The whole thing divided by 1 plus cos x, the whole squared. Now what happens here? Can I multiply this? It goes like cos x plus uh, cos squared x minus the minus is plus, that is sin squared x. The whole thing divided by 1 plus cos x, the whole squared. So what do you get? I can see I have... This guy has sine squared plus cos squared is 1 from the trigonometric formula. So I have cos x plus 1, the whole thing divided by 1 plus cos x, the whole squared. So what do you get? I can see that this guy looks like 1 plus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x, the whole squared. I can see, I can cancel the square and this guy, the answer is how much? Let me erase this. The answer is 1 by 1 plus cos x and that's all about it. Very simple formula, right? Let's go with the next problem here. It says 1 minus e power x and 1 plus e power x. I would like you guys to stop the video and try to work this problem yourself. All right? So let's see. y is equal to 1 minus e power x divided by 1 plus e power x. Now who is u and v? This guy is u and v. Formula goes like what? v, that is 1 plus e power x into differentiation of u, that is 1 minus e power x. Minus of 1 minus e power x into d by dx of 1 plus e power x. That's it. Yep. The whole thing divided by 1 minus e power x. The whole squared. That's all about it. So 1 plus. Denominator is plus. That's it. Now, do I have any differentiation sign here? No. That goes like 1 plus e power x. Can I differentiate this guy? 1 is 0. e power x is e power x itself. Negative sign remains. Uh, right? Minus sign here. This is 1 minus e power x. And what about this guy? Differentiation of 1 is 0. Don't want that e power x is e power x itself. That goes like 1 plus e power x, the whole squared. Can I open the brackets? Yes. It is minus e power x, minus e power x, the whole squared, minus, uh, minus, and this guy would be minus e power x, and minus and minus is plus, plus e power x, the whole squared. The whole thing divided by 1 plus e power x, the whole squared. So what happened here? I can cancel these guys, and I'll get minus 2 e power x, let me erase this. The guy is uh, minus 2 e power x, the whole thing divided by 1 plus e power x, the whole squared. That's your answer. All right. So what do you want to do? You want to do the next problem yourself? Try it. That's nice. All right. If not, if you're not getting the problem, then you can just stop the video. They're very basic problems. Nothing difficult in this. Nothing at all. So let's say third one says y is equal to e power x divided by 1 plus log x. Okay, so who is u and v? This guy is u, this guy is v, the formula goes like what? Denominator, that is 1 plus log x, the whole squared, into d by dx of e power x, minus e power x into d by dx of denominator, that is 1 plus log x. That's it. The whole thing divided by what? Denominator squared, that is 1 plus log x, the whole squared. So what happens here? This is uh, 1 plus log x, no, there's no square here. So cool. Right? There's no square here. That's the denominator, right? 1 plus log x into 
differentiation e power x is e power x itself plus uh, minus e power x how do you differentiate this guy 1 is 0 log x is 1 by x that's it so i don't have to write differentiation of 1 which is 0 so just eliminate that 1 by x is what we have and uh, i have no differentiation sign here that becomes 1 plus log x the whole square and that's all about it all right if you have to simplify this you can otherwise you can leave it at here no problem so what's the next problem the last problem says here it is like y is equal to sine inverse of x by 1 plus x squared now what exactly is the formula that is denominator that is 1 plus x squared into d by dx of numerator that is sine inverse of x minus sine inverse of x into d by dx of denominator the 1 plus x squared the whole thing divided by 1 plus x squared the whole squared right only differentiate those terms here who's got a differentiation sign so the first guy is free nothing out there how do you differentiate this guy that is 1 by root of 1 minus x squared minus sine inverse of x into how do you differentiate this 1 is 0 x squared is 2x that's it yep divided by 1 plus x squared the whole squared is that the answer very simple all right work a couple of more problems yourself from your textbooks or your notes whatever you have but do them yourself alone all right that will teach you a lot of things learn the techniques not the number of problems involved all right